Two years na po akong guro sa pagsamba po ng kabataan. Dito sa Japan, ay, hindi naman po malalapit yung mga lokal po. So, kailangan po natin magbiyahe po na medyo matagal. Dalawang oras po ako nagbibiyahe para po makarating po sa lokal na yun. Malayo po yung, yung biyahe po para po kami po ay makatupad. Sobrang worth it naman po dahil uh, kinakasangkapan po tayo para makapagturo po ng aral ng Panginoon Diyos. Pinagkalooban din po tayo ng Diyos na makapagsalita po ng lingwahe ng Hongo. Nais ko rin po yung gamitin para po makapagturo po sa mga kabataan po na nihonggo po yung language po ninyo. Naisip ko po na gusto ko rin po makapagturo ng salita po ng Panginoon Diyos at makatulong po sa pamamahala. Sobrang saya po ng puso po namin na naiintindihan po nila yung aral po ng Diyos kahit na po ang lingwahe po nila ay Japanese. Hindi po ako titigil sa pagtupad po ng tungkol din po. Dahil ito po yung nagpapalakas po sa akin. Noong uh, nasa Pilipinas po kami, uh, nagkaaral po kami doon ng kolehiyo. Uh, nagkaroon po ng problema po sa pamilya po namin. So kinailangan ko pong huminto po sa pag-aaral. At umuwi po ng Japan para po makapaghanap yung fight. pag ko po sa Japan, hindi ko pa alam kung ano po yung magiging trabaho ko po dito. Kung ano po yung magiging buhay ko po sa Japan. Pero po, kahit na ganun po, kinahito po kami sa pag-aaral. Inisip ko po na may layunin po ang Diyos. Kaya po ako mapupunta ng Japan. Minsan po, nagkakasabay siguro yung, yung pag-aaral o yung trabaho sa pagtupad po ng tungkulin. Pero lagi pa rin po natin piliin yung pagtupad po. Dahil hindi po tayo bibigoy na Panginoon. Diyos, hindi po yun uh, magiging kaligihan po. Dahil ang Diyos po, lagi nandiyan po para sa atin. Basta lagi po natin sumunahin. Isa po akong mga awit, nagsimula po ako ay sa PNK, pagsamba po ng kabataan. Ang daan po namin ay wala pong katao-tao, wala pong bahay. Tulad po nung papunta po ako ng kapilya, hinabol po ako ng lasing. Nananalangin po ako na sana po hindi po ako maabutan hanggang sa makarating po ako. Sobrang init, lalakad po ako tatungo sa pagtupad. Minsan naman po, maulan. Pero kinakaya ko po dahil doon po ako masaya. Tinandaan ko lang po yung pangarap sa akin nung magulang ko po. Kahit saan man daw po ako magpunta. Dapat daw po dala ko yung aking tungkulin. Sabi nga po sa teksto, maging matapang. Para po, patuloy po tayo makapaglingkod sa ama. Nabigyan po natin siya ng kaluguran, kasiyahan. Sa pagiging iglesia ni Kristo ko po at sa pagiging may tungkulin ko po, ang natutunan ko po ay patuloy na sumampalataya, magtiwala sa Diyos at manalig sa Kanya. Sa harap po ng Panginoong Diyos na pagsisikapan ko pong magampana ng pagiging mabuting asawa at mabuting ina po sa aking mga anak. At higit po sa lahat ay mabuting may tungkulin po sa loob ng Iglesia ni Kristo. I am a choir leader and my siblings to have a duty very early on and that has remained with me up until now. For me, this duty makes keeps me grounded. Um, it helps me when I'm going through troubles, but also it gives me additional guidance when I'm, 
you know, maturing in my faith. During the oratorio for the 50th celebration here in Europe, yes, it was difficult in terms of the practices every single evening after work, but on the day, that all faded, all those troubles that we had. This duty keeps me grounded. Um, why would I not want God's blessings in my life? I want to please God and glorify His name. My offices are a choir organist, Kadiwa officer, and I'm also part of the district music team. It, it just touched my heart in a way that I've never felt before. So that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to join choir. I feel like my life would be chaos if I didn't perform my duties. And I also feel like this is one of my ways that I stay close with God. Being a member in the INC has impacted my life in a, in a positive way. I think with everything that's going on in the world, like the chaos and the violence, I still feel peace in my heart. When I wake up in the morning, I don't feel worried. So one of the biggest challenges that I faced was um, the passing of my dad. It, it was already kind of hard because um, I've always seen him sick growing up. I've never seen him like, you know, fully able. And and if it, if he was fully able at some point, I was too young to remember. Always trusting in God. Always remembering the promises that He has for His people be prayerful, always seek God's guidance, always trust in the ones that God entrusted to lead us. They want to do everything that they can to make sure that we're strong and that also when, when Christ comes back that we can all meet again. I signed up for a duty as a secretariat officer, I believe around two years after I converted inside the Iglesia Ni Cristo. And now, lately, I signed up for a new duty, which is a deacon. First thing that would enter my mind is simply serving the Lord God and making an additional contribution to the church. The more contribution you add, the more blessings you get. I have had many scenarios where God has really intervened and has helped me get through all the challenges I faced. Not so long ago, I faced real challenges, intense challenges that really tests your faith but it didn't pull me not even a single inch away from God it really brought me closer instead I strongly believe that all these good news happening in my personal life all the good things are not coincidence or just simply because I'm lucky I don't think so there's no more U-turn for me in this because performing my duty has become equals to attending worship services. And it, and it has become part of my life already. I don't see myself stopping my duty. I don't see it. You go on on your daily life, school, work, whatever it is, and after that, you perform your duty. You need it. 
there are blessings that await you.